we're going to talk now about the difference between equals and double equals. So let's come back to here. And let's say I go like this. You can see that's the single equals. Otherwise, I can also go like this, like that. So here is an example of the equals use. And here is an example of the double equals use. And we need to explain to you the difference between these two because this does not exist in your math class. Miss, I need you to put your phone away now. So here, this is known as an assignment statement. And what's happening here is the value three is being put into this box called X. I can also use do this with another variable. I can go like this, for example. And here, the value that's in the Y box, which is four, is being taken and put into this other box, which is called X. So therefore, when you have a single equal sign, this is an action that's taking place. It's a command. Some, some teachers refer to this symbol as the gets symbol. We say X gets Y or X gets the value of Y. You're telling the computer to do something. You're telling it to assign a value. This is not what is happening here. What's happening here is you're asking a question. You're asking the question, is X equal to three? And if it is, then you're going to execute this line of code. Do you see the difference between the two? This is a command. This is a question. The answer to the question is always one of two values. What are the possible values for this double equals question, Mr. Mitty? Yes or no? What do we call that in Java? It's got a different different two words, true or false. So this is a Boolean expression, a Boolean expression that comes back either true or false. And you're only going to execute this if statement here, the body of it, if the part over here happens to be true. So that is the difference between a single equals and a double equals.